Okay, this is an update on my 3D printer project, and uh, it's an Ender 3 3D printer. And the first print that I tried was this pig. And uh, I had seen online where some people had stopped the print because it was taking so long and just made a uh, container out of the pig, which is what I did. This was nine hours of printing at a fine print. Came out really, really nice. But um, that's the downside of 3D printing is it takes a lot of time if you're going to do fine, high-quality work, at least with what I've, I've got. But the second project was to build uh, this 3D um, pulse motor, which is um, what Granddad replicated from this man right here who uh, designed it and um, uh, posted a video of it on YouTube. But if you go to his channel, he gives the a link to the files, uh, the STL files, and uh, has a video on the whole thing. And it, he's using one of these um, solar waiver drive units, which um, I happen to have one that uh, all you got to do is put it underneath that thing like that, and you can drive it with the solar solar energy. But what I've got here is I've got a, a reed switch driver unit, and that's all that is, is a reed switch with it super capacitor, a couple of volts in it, and um, this was a real neat pulse motor setup though with the magnets on the top and the bottom and uh, these magnets, um, they're all the same size and uh, you can see how they're spaced around here and it's rather amazingly efficient if you get this set up right and it's just, there's just a magnet at the bottom that that sits in and a magnet up at the top. I put another one in there to reduce the distance down, but it uh, makes a very, very effective, uh, very low friction uh, rotor. And then, like I say, with um, a solar driver, you can drive it with the solar energy quite easily. And then um, if you want to set up a irregular pulse uh, drive uh, of any kind, uh, you can drive it with a, a different kind of drive unit, but it, very, very successful. This part here is what Granddad had redesigned um, here. This was the standard one, and he redesigned it so the coil wouldn't have to be flat on the plate there. So he redesigned that, but you know, like I say, I, I'm just going to use that thing there. That's out of a solar waiver, but... Anyway, this project was quite successful. Uh, the only thing that I'm having trouble with is the long time to print. Uh, that motor, uh, I had to print all the parts out of it. it took most of the day yesterday. Thanks for watching.